happening guys we're gonna be addressing a uh, frequently asked question in this video since I have my Tahoe here we're gonna be addressing how do you run two different voltages in your vehicle or how do you run a high voltage setup in your vehicle since I have my Tahoe and it does this I'm gonna show you how this uh, goes about or how you go about doing something like this first of all you need to have a vehicle that is able to to do this with multiple alternators so in a Tahoe or a very like GM vehicles are very popular for systems so we offer multiple alternator brackets for this and if your vehicle happens to be one that you can get multiple alternators for you could do it as well so when you run two different voltages you're going to have one that's going to be your 12 volt side which is going to run your vehicle you're really not going to be messing with that anymore so this is gonna keep you from having dimming headlights or anything like that because you're totally separating your system, uh, the, the base side basically, uh, off of, well most people do base side. You can run base and mids and highs off of your high voltage system, but a lot of mids and high amplifiers don't like running off the whole high voltage. So uh, that's something you have to look into on your amplifiers. Anyway, so this is gonna be separated. So your uh, vehicle's factory electrical is gonna be totally good. You're not gonna be messing with it whatsoever. So the way that you set up a high voltage setup and the way that it's done in this truck is since we have a massive system in here uh, around 60 to 80,000 watts just depending we have a ton of uh, draw on the subwoofer side so what we're doing is totally separating that and we're running four MacMan 320 amp alternators we have one underneath uh, the 12 volt side on this side and we have three extra ones on this side so we have these two transpo units right here, uh, very popular in running external um, regulated or externally regulated alternator setups. They're really only good for accurately running two alternators at a time. That's why we have two of them, so one per pair of 16 volt alternators. So they're going to be running these alternators and that's how we regulate the uh, voltage on the 16 volt side. We have it totally separated and they're totally controlled by these two transpo units right here. So we have it all hooked up and the wires run over to the field on the alternators and we have dials on the dash that you turn up and down and you're able to see what voltage you're running on there. So when you get it turned up to where you want it, say on these they charge optimally around 17.2 to 17.5 with the setup that I have with my lithium setup. So we want to have the regulators or potentiometers, whatever you want to call them, set right around that area, 17.2 or 17.5 and uh, that'll keep it where they're charging the batteries exactly where they need to be in two totally separate charging systems. So uh, this is how you do a totally separate charging system in your vehicle. You'll need it to be externally regulated. You'll and it could be with regulators like this, or you could have whoever builds your alternators. I mean, obviously, I recommend recommend Megman. We run them on my vehicles, and they do a great job. But if you decide to go with a different brand of alternator, that's fine. Uh, we just want to make sure you're you know what you're doing, and and they know what they're doing as well. So uh, you just they can set your alternator on the inside sometimes to do the voltage that you want, where it's just going to be doing it internally. But always like external regulation when you're doing your uh, your high voltage setup because you can really dial it in and get it to exactly what you want it to be so I hope this video has been helpful for you and explaining how you run two different voltages in your vehicle for most people I already made a video on this but for most people I wouldn't recommend doing this unless you're doing a um, like a, a competition setup or a strictly demo setup for most people a 12 volt system is going to be way easier and way more simplified so I recommend staying with that most of the time but if you are looking into making that leap of doing a two different charging systems this is how you do it so we can get you set up with this with a Megman alternator being externally regulated if you want to do this at downforsoundshop.com so hit us up if you're wanting to do that we'll get you taken care of see you in the next one guys if you want to see more of the hot content that you just saw in that video be sure to follow me on all my social media channels from YouTube Facebook Instagram uh, TikTok. the life of price is my handle on there also have Down for Sound Shop on Facebook and Instagram and don't forget Snapchat is JPD4S. Check out all the hot content on there as well.